What is going on, my fellow gaming warriors? Tis the one. And I have some amazing news! Amazing news for all you elite gamers out here! So I saw this from Charlie Intel, and my immediate reaction to this was like, oh my gosh. Here come all the fanboys that see! See, I told you so! I told you so, this game is good, I told you so! And so look here, breaking news. Modern Warfare 2 is the fastest selling Call of Duty ever, and surpassed 800 million dollars in its opening weekend, beating out the previous record holder, of MW3 in 2011. More players online in opening weekend than ever before in franchise history. Okay, cool. First of all, we have to take we have to take note. Charlie Intel is a Call of Duty shill. So, he's basically always marketing the game. And you don't realize it, a lot of you don't realize it, but these guys always have some sort of strategy or plan and they can screw you over. And but he's one of the shills, so keep that in mind. You you all you automatically can't trust this freaking guy. Yeah, but Charlie Intel gives all the greatest he gives all the best updates and news for Call of Duty and I love I always monitor his account on Twitter. So on paper, like right, eight hundred million dollars, wow, fastest selling Call of Duty ever. Wow. That that sounds great, right? But it's not it's not really what you think. It's it's skewed. I mean the first thing we have to take into account is that there there are more players ever playing video games, period. And you're talking cross-platform. So we're talking PS4, Xbox One, the Xbox Series X, the PS5, the PC. And I feel like, honestly, this, this is even a bigger reason. I feel like this is obvious. The game costs $10 more. It's the, the base version of this game costs $70. So yeah, $800 million. Wow, more than ever. Well, I mean, yeah. You, the game costs more. The game costs more than ever. So, of course, if you can't beat a game in sales like that in after 11 years where there's way more players and the game costs more, then you might as well just quit. See, I told you the new cars are better than the old ones. Look, you got record-breaking sales, bro. It has a million dollars better than MW3, bro. Oh my gosh, and then you got this freaking clown. Another shill. Another shill comes to the rescue. Modern Warzone. Doug. Dishonest Doug. Call of Duty is dead, Warzone ruined it. And then he writes right below it, oh, it makes me cringe. It, it makes me, actually makes me cringe so hard. MW2, ha it, it pains me to even, it's hard for me to even get this out. It, uh, I'm, I'm gonna say it, whatever. MW2 has best opening weekend in COD history, selling $800 million in three days. Like, oh my gosh, it's so cringe. They're trying so hard to defend the game. They're basically patting themselves in the back. It's so, it's so like, I don't know, narcissistic? Would be the word it's so like it's weird it's honestly weird that they're obsessed with themselves i just i don't get it and by the way i hope you're enjoying this gameplay right here this is an amazing sentinel, sentinel gameplay on modern warfare roman numeral two year skip and uh, i literally played it was literally just for this video you saw a couple of clips from it in the last video this is how the game wants you to play right i went like what was it 15 and 2 from basically doing nothing from barely moving the entire game i almost went flawless from literally sitting in a room like they couldn't they couldn't move me from the building it like it then it took like a cross map nade or something like that a lucky nade just to get me out of the building so it just goes to show that this game it literally it, it forces you to conform to this play style of playing like a sentinel i'm playing like a sentinel it got a little off topic there but just to circle back to this modern war zone dishonest doug and what he said here comes jev and I love this, and Jev infers something here that I've been saying for, for years now too since Modern Warfare 2019, and has, it has to do with Warzone. So he says, now everyone stay on multiplayer after Warzone 2 to prove it. To prove that people actually are staying on Modern Warfare 2 because they love the multiplayer. They love the Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 year skip multiplayer, and they're not just holding out for Warzone. Because for everyone who has a brain out there knows... That Modern Warfare 2019 did well, quote unquote. It was Warzone. It was Battle Royale. And it's, if you don't realize that, if you actually think people were playing Modern Warfare 2019 because of the multiplayer, then you're you're on something, and I want some of it because that's just delusional. People were on Modern Warfare 2019, quote unquote, and they stayed on it. They had good retention, retention, because of Warzone. It was 100% because of Warzone. And again, if... Ugh, oh my gosh. The people are actually... They get so defensive about this. They get so defensive about Infinity Ward. It's something about Infinity Ward. You know why? Because I think these people have a soft spot for Infinity Ward. Because they helped them out so much. Uh, in the multiplayer. They help them out so damn much. And they don't even play it. 
once Warzone comes out, everyone will forget about Modern Warfare 2. Everyone. <laughs> or most people. I don't literally mean everyone. But I'm saying most people. I mean, a Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 year skip. Multiplayer is an afterthought. Now, multiplayer is an afterthought. These, these, these devs, Infinity Ward, Infinity Turret, they don't care about multiplayer anymore. This is just basically a... Uh, I don't know the word for it, but kind of like a head start. Get a head start on learning Warzone in terms of the weapons. Like, this is the best weapon, the best attachments to use. Like, that's basically what it is. It's a filler. It's just, you know, something to get you get you on track, get you on the road. And uh, it's just, no, there's no real thought or passion put into the multiplayer anymore. But Jeff is so right about this. I'm so glad he said this too, to stick up against this Call of Duty shill. And I know he has to keep a good relationship with these people, with these Call of Duty shills, because, I mean, it's like... Uh, he he's he's a big part of the Call of Duty community, and you know he's not a very, as we know he's not a very controversial. Like he doesn't really collab. He doesn't collab with people. He doesn't. I mean he used to a little, but with Phase Clan, you know he went to the Phase House. That was the last time. I mean he played some Black Ops Four with some guys, but other than that, he's not for the. He's not the drama type, right? He's not really the drama type to get involved in any any of that you know nonsense. But uh, it, it, I really I really. Love seeing him, you know, reply this under dishonest Doug's tweet because I, I really, I loved it. I love seeing it because it's true. No one is gonna stay on Modern Warfare 2 year skip. No one's gonna stay on Modern Warfare 2 year skip when Warzone 2 comes out. It's just a fact. I mean, we're just, <laughs> I can't wait. It's already died. The multiplayer has already died. You know why? Because of the bugs. Yeah, bugs, yeah, crashes. Yeah, but they only had three years to work on it and it worked during the pandemic, so. It's like the, these people are still using the, the pandemic argument for them not being able to work on these games, fix these issues. Dude, you had three years. I don't want to hear it. We've been out of this freaking thing, this whole situation for what? At, at least a year now, right? Two years? I don't want to hear it. I do not want to hear it. Black Ops 2 literally took, what, two years? And that was the best multiplayer in my humble opinion. Uh, at least it's, it has to be top three for everyone regardless. But you know what I mean? It's just like the, the whole, you know, you had three years. What do you mean they only had three years? Exactly, they had three years. What do you mean they didn't have enough freaking time? Something wrong, man. These freaking sentinels. These sentinels. These sentinels are really just off their rockers. They're they're again. They're they're smoking something, and I want some of it because that 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 must be. It must feel, make you feel real good if you're believing stuff like that and saying stuff like that. How can you even say that with a straight face? I I can't even. But yeah, those record sales and all that crap and nonsense. It's a bunch of BS. Oh, oh my gosh, 800 million yachts! Like, dude, they're patting themselves on the back. They're trying to make themselves look good with all the controversy going on with Modern Warfare 2 and just, like, uh, the lack of content, the bugs, the crashing, the the horrible UI, which, by the way, I've also seen people, you know, just at the average player, the people from the Call of Duty community creating a new UI system, and it's it's literally... It's so simple, and it's so sad that it probably took these guys 30 minutes to put this together. Now, I'm not going to show you it because I, I don't honestly don't know if I can, if I'm able to use it. But uh, in, even, either way, you've probably seen it already, you've, you've heard of it. And it's so basic, it's so simple. Like, I, I just don't understand. How do you mess up on something as simple as that? They literally, Infinity War, they're changing things just, just for the sake of changing them. I swear, it's just like, they're making these weird changes these little these tiny changes that literally mean nothing and have they have no real impact on the game other than it's just annoying like why are you changing this you're, you're making things like the ui worse the attachment system worse i i've heard i mean i haven't even been playing the game long enough i played like maybe 10 games putting zero attachments putting no attachments on weapons is better than putting attachments on the weapons which i it's funny because i i realized this I was like, I was going through the attachments and I'm like, I feel like the attachments hurt your weapon more than they help. Like, remember when it was just like red dot, it would do like, what, one to accuracy, give you a little range, you know, like, for all the optics. It wouldn't take away anything. The only thing that would take away something would be suppressor. I mean, that has to have uh, a, a negative impact to it, right? Because it's it's making you invisible on the minimap, so it would take away like one range, right? Or whatever. But <laughs> speaking of that, hey. No more, no more with that. Suppressor is basically useless now because there's no, there's no use for the minimap. You might as well not even have a minimap. It's literally useless because red dots don't show up. It's so bad. It's so bad. Other than the freaking UAV, which by the way, that freaking goes on and on. There's 100 UAVs a game. 
just constantly running through UAVs. It's just not, it's not fun. The game is just not fun. It's in a complete, it's a, it's a complete disaster right now. It's in a horrible state. And uh, like I said, th these record sales is BS. The game is more expensive than ever. And more people are playing video games more than ever. And obviously we have Warzone now, which has attracted a lot more people to Call of Duty, which who wouldn't have played it before. Or they kept people on the game just because of Warzone. Maybe people didn't want to play multiplayer anymore for Call of Duty. But then Warzone came out, they enjoyed that. So they said, yeah, I'll get the Call of Duty game just to figure out what weapons I need and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's just, it's such a, oh, they, they Infinity Ward, Activision, they are such frauds. I know, believe it or not, big multi-billion dollar company or something. Frauds? No way. But no, seriously, it's just, it's such a joke looking at these guys pat themselves on the back. Ugh, Jeff is right. I mean, no one, people are not going to stay on multiplayer, uh, especially once Warzone comes out. I feel like the hype is already dying for Modern Warfare 2, as I've said, because of how bad the game is in terms of its state. Oh my gosh, it's it's a complete freaking train wreck right now with the bugs and the crashes and, you know, just the lack of content. That freaking map, I keep going back to this, but that freaking map that is literally, it looks like a wiener full of cars. It's a long, skinny, narrow, you know, not much girth on this wiener. <laughs> it's a long wiener literally lined with cars <laughs> that's the best way I can put it it's literally shaped like a wiener and has a bunch of cars everywhere it is the worst map of all time I thought it couldn't have gotten worse than freaking Piccadilly pickle dickle there's a lot there's been a lot of bad maps like Stonehaven from Ghost Call of Duty Ghost if any of you remember that but man I mean it is a freaking disaster it really is the game is such a joke and the developers 3,000 developers have worked on this game which is just insane to me like what the hell were they doing for all these years yeah we're just trying to make your game better you're gonna put all the content in your season one you're gonna put in two maps and then new guys in the honey badger and it's gonna be good okay it's gonna be good like are they gonna make mw2 from the original mw2 like remakes mass of that i think i've seen terminal maybe but like that kind of takes away from your whole plan to have this greatest hits map pack where you have all these old school maps all the maps from the old mw2 come onto this game and it's just like kind of negates from that takes away from that so i, I don't know this they're all over the place it's this, this game is a complete joke i i again i don't know what to say people are going to forget about this game in a week or two they might forget about it tomorrow the hype has already died out within three days so much uh imagine imagine how much this game is going to die out after Warzone comes out, I, I I can't wait to see it. Yeah, I don't I don't really know what else to say on this. I mean, I could literally go on and on about this. Um, well, I guess this is it. Uh, I usually people would say subscribe, you know, but you know, whatever. If you want to stick around, great. Thank you for watching, any anyways, and you know, if you hit that like button, great. If you don't, I whatever. I'm just glad you came on for this video, and uh, I hope you agree. If you don't, you can kick rocks, man. Just. That's it. I'm a shut you know. It has been one.